2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. We're in the Motor City as the Detroit Pistons plan to take advantage of home court. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, guys, Carl Anthony Towns has a different disposition than his predecessor and mentor, Kevin Garnett. The KG said of Cat, don't take the smile for weakness. He plays with another type of engine. What they do share, Kevin, is a true love for the game. Back to you. Outstanding, D.A., thank you. Smitty, tonight, something we don't get to see much of these days, two grinded-out half-court offenses. Yeah, you know this word, pace, Kevin. Everybody wants to have this pace where you get up more shots, analytics. Well, that's why I love the finals and the conference finals. Two teams, they know each other, and then at the end of the game, you got to execute. They know your plays. You know their tendencies. It comes down to old-school basketball when you start to get to that fourth quarter, and especially game six and seven. Excellent point. Ready, gentlemen? Ready? So the Timberwolves win the tip. Outside Teague. Just five on the clock. In the corner, Gibson with it. And the three off target. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the four. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Gibson plays the four with Towns in the middle. Then there's Teague. Then it's Robert Covington. Now here's Covington. Towns, no luck. Rose with the ball. Let's it go with a three. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Timberwolves on offense. Passes to Covington. Kicks to T. Left side, Towns. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Drummond. Rose against T. Rose scanning the floor. Not enough on that one as it misses. He was all alone. Looks like he gets a little too relaxed. He has to maintain his focus. This is the opposite of how they wanted to start this game. 0 for 4 already. Luke Kennard, the 12th pick in the 2017 draft out of Duke. An outstanding shooter and has a lot more to show in this game. Robinson goes in and Drummond throws it down. I mean, tremendous body control in the air. Andre with the easy catch and flush. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Now here's Teague. And he converts the layup. And Kennard Smitty went one pick in front of Rookie of the Year contender Donovan Mitchell. Some Piston fans uh, ticked off about that. Yeah, I understand. But he was top 20 in three-point percentage right out of the gate. It's not just about year one. I think Kennard has a chance to be good. So it's the Pistons now following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Pass to Teague. Puts up a three. Timberwolves working now with a new shot clock. Gibson for three. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Detroit Pistons. And the rejection by Towns. 
And his foot movement is what makes Towns such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. Rose, no good. He can't find his mojo. Tough quarter for him scoring the basketball. And Towns the bucket on the assist from Covington. And from day one, Towns has been one of the NBA's top post players. A versatile, well-rounded game on the low block. It doesn't hurt that he can step outside and knock down the jumper either. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Entire new group here. Pachulia, he's checked in for Drummond. Luer comes in for Blake Griffin. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Robinson. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Rose. Here's Kennard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. But Julia finds Ellington. Jones against Jackson. Here's the teardrop. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. And Greg with Covington, he makes a point with his game to, to take what the defense gives him. And sometimes that means Covington will go nights where he shoots very little. He's okay with that. He's focused on efficiency and making the best decision for the team. Only cares about wins and a true team player. That free throw, no good. And not too long ago, Reggie Jackson signed a five-year, $80 million deal. A lot of pressure on him to earn that money. And he sinks the second. Reggie Jackson, a great season and a half spent in Detroit. Since that time, injuries have slowed him down. Now here's Jones. There's the pass to Dan. Off target with his three. Not a big threat from out there. You see why the defense backed off a little. Here's Luer. Plays it up and banks it in. Luer's got his first two points. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Wiggins outside. The kick out to Dang. Goes up on the wing. Misses off the left iron. The Pistons lead it. Pass to Kennard. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. They get Lou all Dang. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Pistons have converted one of two free throws so far today. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He kicks it to Wiggins. Shoots over Ellington. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Pistons lead by three. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. One of the most high-powered scorers in the game, Carl Anthony Towns knows it's important to keep his teammates involved. 
you know, everyone has to get some of the sugar, you know, mm -hmm. so making sure you're not just being a ball haul. So I'm just always trying to make sure that I'm taking wide open shots that I think everyone on the team would love for me to take if I have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. But also at the end of the day, making sure everyone gets a chance to be in the candy shop. Well, when you're attracting, Greg, all that defensive attention, it creates opportunities for your teammates. And Towns wants to win big. To do that, though, it's not enough to get numbers. You've got to make your teammates better as well. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? I mean, through one, you have to like the effort, especially on that defensive end. There are several ways, as you know, to take control of a game. Getting stops is one of them. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Jones and Wiggins, the backcourt. Hang out there with Dario Saric, and it's Jang in its center locking down the middle. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. The Pistons went for it last season, bringing in Blake Griffin and trading away picks and players. Didn't work out the way they want it, but they are determined to make a go of it. They're in a brand new building, and they hope that their moves in the future will draw fans back to the franchise. Kevin? Good overview, David. Thank you. Here is Ellington, following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. And Lure kicks to Jackson. Passes it to Ellington. Here's Kennard. He's covered by Dang. A shot. That one, no good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Steve, for the Pistons, improving chemistry on and off the court has been a big focus. Yes, locker room leadership and pieces that fit together on the court. It's about building a team in every sense of the word. But Julia, the pass to Ellington. Dishes it to Jackson. Here's Lure. A rebound by the Timberwolves. How does he miss that layup? He's too good to be doing that. Here's Wiggins. Kicks it to Dang. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Now here's Ellington, covered by Wiggins. Pass to Lou. There's the dish to Jackson. There's the pass to Pachulia. Over Jang. Pachulia, good. And just a great second quarter for them after such a difficult first, bringing that field goal percentage up from below 30 and now with the lead. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. Steve, we know you're not going to become an official anytime <laughs> soon, but is there a rule you would change in the NBA right now if you could? Yeah, I, I look at the zone defense. Um, I, I would love to go back where you're guarding your guy in some form or fashion. I know when I played, there was totally different rules about the legal defense, and it was basically imaginary line right straight down the middle. If you cross that line, you had to go and double-team somebody. I look at it right now, there's teams that are so good, they're, they're just kind of playing a zone, and it's forcing us to see teams take more three-point shots. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. T kicks to Gibson. The 11-footer. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Six points for Andrew Wiggins. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finally finding the range here in the second. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Drummond working against Towns. The kick out to Rose. Here's Griffin. A putback, and Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Timberwolves trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. You have to credit the pinpoint pass for making that play possible. Now here's Rose. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Griffin dishes to Rose. Over Teague. Rose, that's good. And the Pistons lead by three. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Towns finds Covington. Back to Towns.
over Drummond. That one a little long. Can't convert, but a good opportunity from mid-range. He'll take that every time. Pass to Rose to the right side. Fires for three. Griffin can't get it to go in. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Covington. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Rose passes to Drummond. Outside for Griffin. From 17 feet out. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's Detroit leading by just one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, how does it feel to be back on the floor again? It feels good, man, especially um, playing with my teammates. We have new teammates. We're just trying to come out here and just play hard and compete. Good to see you back out here, Derek. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal at 2K Sports. Let's talk first half. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period with three points being their largest cushion. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Well, so far, they've taken care of their business here at home. It's something you might expect, but it's not a given. We'll see if they can keep that up in the second half. How about you, Shaq? What would you think about Minnesota? Reminds me of me at the free throw line. They had a rough half of shooting under 35%. Some of that was great defense, but a lot of it was poor shot selection. They've got to revise the game plan, get guys open for higher quality looks. And the shooters need to go out and execute. Man, come on! And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Welcome back, everyone. The lights of Motown reflecting brightly off the Detroit River. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Andrew Wiggin really making a difference here. Yeah, and night after night, man, it just becomes common to watch him rip through teams, and that's exactly what we saw there in the first half. What I admire is his consistency. Some guys get it done every other night. He gets it done every night. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The athletic front pair is Griffin and Drummond. Kennard is out there with Rose, and it's Robinson in at the small forward. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Nice pass by Derrick Rose, spotting a wide open guy from the corner of his eye. And, and unfortunately, injuries will always be the concern with Derrick Rose. Still loves the game of basketball, knows he is limited compared to what he once was. Amazing with all he's fought through, he can still perform at such a high level. Here's Drummond following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Here's Griffin over Teague. A nice shot by Griffin. And the Pistons lead by three. When he's draining jump shots, it's hard to know what you want to do defensively. What do you take away? For the tie, Griffin grabs the board. And with Rose, as you said, his love of the game is still there. He still wants to play. I mean, many players would have just walked away from having their body to trim. But Rose said last season he loves what he gets to do and still would be a water boy if he had to. You have to admire Rose's attitude and approach in that regard. Teague can't hit. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Griffin can't get it to go in. Well, just think what's happening here. He hasn't found his groove, yet they still hold the lead. Yes, that goes in. He has six. Just a great job there from Teague to locate where his teammate was and get the ball to him on time. Now here's Rose. 
Passes it to Drummond. To the inside. Here's Griffin. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. Minnesota calls timeout. And Smitty Blake Griffin last season acquired by Detroit. Also gives them some star power. Putting fans in the seats, that matters. So for the Pistons, Pachulia, who's checked in for Drummond. Thon Maker comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Jackson in for Derrick Rose. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Gorgie Dang's checked in for Towns. Charge comes in for Taj Gibson. Luol Dang is checked in for Robert Covington. And Jones subbed in for Jeff T. Now here is Robinson after the miss by Luol Dang. Pass to Maker. Pistons passing it around. They find Jay on the way. Jackson misses. Timberwolves trail by five. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes play. Jones kicks to Zhang. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Pistons leading by five. 157 left to play in the third. To the middle. Pachulia, no luck. And so it's Dang bringing it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Jones, no one around him. A three-pointer off the mark. The Pistons have gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. Here's Kanon. He kicks it to Jackson. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Pachulia, good. And this is how Pachulia gets a lot of his points. Crash in the glass. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Dang, looking it over. Back to Jones. Can they get it? And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Kanar. In the corner, it's Maker. Or the three. Drills the three-pointer. And now a 10-point Detroit lead. Because he's inconsistent from range, the defense dares him to take that shot. Bad gamble there. And the pass to Sharic. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. Okogi, and he slams it one-handed. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered us, huh? some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Now Jackson has to Kennard. No good there. And so is Detroit in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Timberwolves trail by eight. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Gibson plays the four with Towns in the middle. And it's Covington in at the three slot. And, and they continue to control the glass. The kick out to Rose. Passes to Griffin. 
Shoots over Covington. Griffin's shot is off. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Teague with the ball, and Rose picks him up defensively. Wiggins left side. The shot will not fall. And it's Detroit the other way. Down low. And there's Rose on the assist by Ellington. Rose has got the lead up to 10 now for Detroit. Minnesota shooting just 29% in this game. They are not a pretty side out there offensively. And the Timberwolves call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And headline catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. And we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. That was just a textbook pick that allowed him room, and he took advantage of it. The free throw drops for Towns. The new head coach of Detroit is Dwayne Casey. They're lucky he was available. He guided the Raptors to a franchise best 59 wins last season, and he was the coach of the year. Inside, here's Wiggins. Detroit with the rebound. He's being aggressive, trying to turn around the team's fortunes, but he's having a hard time executing. Gibson against Lure to the inside. Drummond. Rocket six. From past the arc. And it's Rose missing. And it goes to show you that any coach can get fired. Casey, one of the most successful, highly regarded coaches in the league. And Smitty still got let go. If you learn about all he's overcome, all the tough jobs he's worked in the past, you knew he'd take it on the chin and keep on trucking. And Towns throws it down. Oh, easy put bag. No one got a body on it. And there's one thing you're trying to minimize. It's second chance opportunities. Poor defensive rebounding for them. Now here's Lure. Griffin down low, defended by Covington, hits the jump hook, and the Pistons lead by seven. This is what you want out of your offense, a high percentage look for Blake Griffin. T kicks to Towns. Good D by Drummond. Detroit's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The shot's good from Ellington. The beauty of the teardrop, very difficult to really contest. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Teague bounce pass. Here's Towns. No good off the back of the rim. Pistons leading by nine. And the wide open shot from Rose. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Covington finds Towns. And the layup's good off the glass. Timeout, timeout. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Time called here. The Pistons, 37 left in the fourth quarter. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Wayne Ellington. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Man, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He doesn't always get the minutes he's gotten tonight, but there's no way they were going to sit him down once he got going. And the crowd has been loving it. A memorable night for him coming off the bench. Just four to shoot. Griffin. They get a hand on it. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Covington wide open. He fires. He can't get that one. Now the Pistons take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. 
outside Rose. Griffin inside, working on Gibson. Count that one. This is what it means to be a catalyst. His offense helps set the tone for a lot of what they do. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're trailing by nine. Fifth. To the inside, Teague, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And I love that Teague didn't slow up when he got inside and went right in and drew the foul. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And as you would expect from the way he plays, Teague is a terrific free throw shooter. He's able to hit the second one, and that brings them within eight. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. Kennard, the pass to Rose. Thirty-four seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Kennard. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Kennard's got the lead up to 10 now for Detroit. And just staying aggressive, continuing to extend that lead. They left nothing to chance. This is how you swapped in the fourth. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. There's the feed to Jang. Jones from outside. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Outside Rose. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Blake, very strong game offensively. What gave you the confidence to take over? I'm just putting in the work and my teammates, honestly, believing in me and telling me to be confident at the end of the game. So um, I owe a lot to them. They, they came up with big plays. Um, just everybody working together. Very good win for you tonight, Blake. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time.